Hey everybody, it's Paige, and in today's video, I'm going to be going through every single one of my setting sprays. This is my setting spray drawer, and I have too many. So, we're going to be going through these and getting rid of as many as I can. I'll probably still end up keeping quite a few, but I really want to try to narrow down my setting spray collection because this is a lot, and it's not easy to go through setting spray. Well, it kind of is, but you know at the same time I just have too many <laughs> so anyway if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started so for this declutter um, I've been doing category by category starting with primers and then I continued with foundations concealers and powders and now we're on setting sprays so um, I don't know how I want to do this. Like, do I take them all out, organize them, or, uh, I don't know. I might, I might do this one differently than I have my previous ones. I think I'm going to take all of them out, and then we will talk about them as I put them back in the drawer or declutter them. Alright guys, so I had to adjust some camera settings because my lighting was like getting all over the place and I realized that my camera was not recording in the proper mode. So, we are back and we're going to start off with my Morphe setting sprays. I have quite a few of these, but I go through these pretty quickly. So, I'm just going to set all the ones that I have in this drawer really quick. Okay, I think these are all of my Morphe setting sprays. So, I have a lot of the regular continuous setting mist. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. Um, I have the this version. Um, I think this was... this is from a while ago. This was from one of the Pride collections, but it's the same formula, just uh, limited edition packaging. And then I also have a holiday one. And then we have two of these, which these are the luminous setting sprays. So, um, I don't need two of these luminous setting sprays, so I'm going to keep one and declutter the other one. And then as far as these go, this one is almost completely empty, so I probably have like one or two uses left. This is the one that I have sitting on my uh, um, filming table, so I'm going to keep that there um, and use that up. But as far as these go, I think I'm going to keep them because I know I will use them. Um, this one is almost empty as well um i would say these other ones are pretty full so i think i might take this one out as well and focus on that to use that up but these ones will stay in the back of the drawer as backups next we have a few Too faced setting sprays so we have these two and i think that's it um so we have the hangover setting spray as well as the other hangover setting spray. This one has peach in it. I really love both of these and this one is almost empty so I'm gonna keep both of these as well. I have this one from Iconic London which is so pretty but I definitely don't need this so I'm going to declutter this one. I am also gonna declutter this one from iHeart Revolution. It's almost empty. I was gonna try to force myself to use this up but then I realized I have enough setting spray and I should not be doing that. Um, I just feel like the scent of this has kind of changed a little bit, but I did love this formula and this scent. So I am going to declutter peaches and cream and I actually have another one. This is vanilla and coconut and it's so annoying because I saved this one because I was like, oh, that one's going to be my favorite. But then I never really ended up using it and it smells kind of weird now so I'm gonna declutter this one as well I'm gonna keep my Huda Beauty uh, setting spray this is the resetting boss oh resting boss face I actually realized I had two other setting sprays hiding these were both in my or I guess they were in a drawer on my everyday filming table situation um and I love both of these but these are both really old and they're starting to kind of smell off a little bit so unfortunately I'm gonna declutter both of these the glow mist from pixie is amazing and this power up dual face setting mist from project wait un in beauty project amazing but like I said they're kind of starting to smell off a little bit and they are older so I'm going to declutter both of those. I'm also unfortunately going to have to declutter my Milky 
uh, hydrating, hydrating milky mist. This stuff is so good, but I sprayed it the other day and it did not smell right. So I'm going to have to declutter this one, unfortunately, but it's so good. I love that. That's one that I would eventually repurchase once I work through a few more setting sprays. This is the Bear With Me from NYX. This is really nice and I definitely will be keeping that. My Dewy set from ABH is great as well. So again, I am going to keep this one. Okay, next we have this one from Milk. This is the Hydro Grip Setting Spray. And I actually have two of these. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. I have two of these. One is still brand new in the box. So I'm going to declutter the one that's in the box and we're going to keep the one that's already open. I'm also going to keep my MAC Fix Plus. I have the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Water, which this isn't really a setting spray, but I've had it in here. I have a little mini one too, but I'm actually going to take these out. And we're going to put one in my bathroom and one, maybe the little one on my bedside table, just to kind of refresh because these smell so good. I love the vitamin nectar line from fresh it's amazing i have a few uh, benefit professional super setters um i have a mini and a full size i think i'm just gonna keep the full size and uh, the mini is nice to have for travel but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna declutter the mini i have a lot of other little mini ones um i have this patrick ta setting spray which i will be keeping i also love this stuff from codaly but i think i'm gonna declutter it because i've had this for a while and i just don't think i'm gonna use it anytime soon so that one's gonna go i have a few setting sprays from revolution oh wait these aren't even setting sprays this is a toner i'm pretty sure i'm gonna declutter this it's a clarifying essence spray I don't need that. And then this is the Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Oh Makeup Fixing Spray. So this one's a maybe. Do I have any other Revolution? Oh, I have this one. This is the Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Longwear Spray. So do I keep the Hyaluronic Fix or the Longwear Spray? I think I might try out the Longwear Spray and then I'll declutter. Whoops this one. This elf one I'm definitely going to keep. This is the dewy mist. I really like this stuff. I'm also going to keep the Fresh AF from 430 Beauty. I really enjoy that. I've already used up a full one of those. I have Glisten Up from 4th Ray. I'm going to declutter this one because if I'm going to use one of these, it's going to be Fresh AF. I have my Charlotte Tilbury, which will be staying, and my Lila B will also be staying. I have a few from Milani. I have the Make It Last and the Make It Last Matte. I think I'm just going to keep the regular Make It Last and I will declutter Make It Last Matte. All right, we're getting down to the last few. I have some from e.l.f. So I have the Stay All Night Micro Fine Mist as well as the Dewy Coconut Mist. Let me make sure, does this spray or is this the broken one? This is the broken one. Dang it. So the uh, coconut one, the dewy coconut one works, but the stay all night one, the sprayer is broken. So I can't really do anything about it. So <laughs> I'm just going to have to declutter that. And then I also have this one from e.l.f. This is the oil control primer mist. I think I'm just going to declutter that because I don't ever really use it. I have my Tatcha setting sprays. We have the Dewy Skin Mist and the Satin Skin Mist. I have the Dewy Skin Mist as well as the Satin Skin Mist from Tatcha. I think I'm going to keep both of those for now. This Milani one I want to keep. That's the Supercharged. And then I also have this Rose Glow Mist from Revlon. This stuff is super intense, so be careful with it. Only use a little bit, but... If you use only a little bit, it works so well and it looks so beautiful. This is a U Tan and Jamie Genevieve collab. This is like a self tanning spray for your face. Um, I haven't really tried it to like give it a good review. I don't really self tan, but I do want to keep that and try it out. We have Hard Candy Longwear Setting Spray. This stuff is so good. I'm going to keep that. 
Then we have Glow Recipe. And this one, sorry, this one was still in the box, but I just took it out because I love this stuff. I love Glow Recipe. Definitely keeping that one. And then all I have left is Urban Decay. So let's see what we have. We have All Nighter, which is great. We have All Nighter Ultra Matte. I probably don't need this one, so I'll declutter that one. Then we have this one, which is All Nighter Pollution Protection. That sounds nice. And then we have another All Nighter. All right, so here are all of the setting sprays that I'm keeping. There's still a lot in here, but the drawer is like half empty now, which is fantastic. So let me count up all the ones that I'm decluttering as well as the ones that I'm keeping and I'll give you guys the numbers. So I have 31 sprays in this drawer, um, which is a lot, but I'm decluttering 17. Um, and I have two Morphe ones that are on my desk, which are almost empty and I just need to work through those. And then I have the two fresh sprays, which are not really setting sprays, so I'm not going to count those. So we're decluttering 17 and we're keeping, how many did I say? 31, something like that. So I got rid of just over a third of my setting sprays, which feels absolutely fantastic. Let me show you guys all the ones that I'm decluttering. Here are all of the setting sprays that I am decluttering. It feels great to have a nice fresh drawer full of setting sprays that I love. Here's another angle of them for you. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.